What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. So you saw the title LR Vegito and LR Gogeta drop tonight on Global at 11 p.m. PST right after the maintenance ends. But also keep in mind that there is a very, very solid chance the servers will go down and will jump right into extended maintenance. So make sure you're also prepared for that. Nonetheless, it's the moment we've all been waiting for and I can't believe it's actually finally gonna happen. So today's video is gonna serve three purposes. One, to hype you guys the F up. Two, to break down each unit and their banners. And three, to inform you guys that I will be live streaming my LR summons tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you missed my first ever live stream yesterday, I'm gonna give you a pass on that one. It's all good, but make sure you tune in for this one because it's gonna be hype. We're gonna pull a lot of fire together. It's just gonna be a ton of fun. All right, let's jump right into it. We'll start with my main man, Vegito, my personal favorite of the two fusions. Nothing but love for Gogeta. I just like Vegito a little bit better. Vegito, who starts as Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta, is a Patara category leader. Their leader skill gives all Patara category units key plus three, HP and attack plus 170%, and defense plus 130%. In addition, they give all int units key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 90% which is the exact same as LR Gohan. Their 12 to 17 key super attack is Kamehameha and Big Bang attack which causes colossal damage. Their 18 key super attack is called Final Strategy which raises attack by 30% and causes mega colossal damage. Their passive strongest duo gives them attack and defense plus 120% and they gain additional plus 2 key for each rainbow orb obtained. Their links are Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, the Saiyan lineage, Experience fighters prepared for battle, fierce battle, and legendary power. When conditions are met, they will perform a Patar fusion and become the almighty Vegito. They are in the Patar category, of course, and the Majin Buu Saga category. Now coming back to the conditions I just mentioned, they will fuse into Vegito when the following two conditions are met. One, you've passed the sixth turn of the battle, and two, your health is below 50%. Post fusion, they become an entirely new card, very much like MUI Goku's transformation mechanic. You will also be healed back to full health. Super Vegito's 12 to 17 key super is Big Bang Attack, which causes colossal damage. His 18 key super is Final Kamehameha, which causes mega colossal damage and raises allies' attacks by 30% for one turn. His passive is now attack and defense plus 150%, and he gains an additional three key orbs per rainbow orb obtained for a total of four key per rainbow orb. He also, and this is the thing that makes him so deadly, counters all normal attacks with tremendous power. His links are also slightly different, now having Kamehameha, Super Saiyan power bestowed by God, Fuse Fighter prepared for battle, fierce battle, and legendary power. Now moving right along to our boy Gogeta who starts off as Super Saiyan Goku Angel and Super Saiyan Vegeta Angel. As a fusion leader, he gives all fusion category units key plus 3, HP and attack plus 170%, and defense plus 130%. He also gives all physical type units key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%, which is the same as LR Trunks. I would go over everything else again, but their passive and super attacks are literally the exact same as regular SSJ Goku and SSJ Vegeta just with different names. Their 18 key super is Kamehameha and Final Flash instead of Final Strategy, and their passive is called Invincible Duo instead of Strongest Duo. That's it. As for Lynx, they swapped out Vegito's Saiyan lineage for Golden Warrior. They are currently exclusively in the fusion category. As for the fusion conditions, it's also the same as Vegito's. You just have to be past turn six and below 50% HP. LR Gogeta's 12 to 17 key super is Big Bang Kamehameha, which causes colossal damage. His 18 key super is Soul Punisher, which causes mega colossal damage and lowers the enemy's attack and defense by 20%. His passive Fusion of Miraculous Revival gives him an additional 150% for attack and defense, an additional plus three key for each rainbow orb obtained, and makes his attacks effective to all types, which has been a hallmark of Gogeta cards in this game. His links are the exact same as Vegito, except he has Golden Warrior instead of Power Bestowed by God. So now that you know all there is to know about how each card works, the question becomes, so which one's better? But you see, that is a difficult question to answer because like many things in life, it depends. Calculations performed by Mobile Man on the Dokkan subreddit reveals that LR Gogeta actually out damages LR Vegito by quite a bit. 
before fusion however post fusion it's not even close lr vegito slaughters lr gogeta with those counters more importantly he has one of the greatest super attack lines of all time choke this down if you can so yeah i would probably give the slight edge to lr vegito but that's just my opinion. Now why don't we talk a little bit about their respective banners. At this point we don't know if they'll make any changes from the JP version of these banners, but if they don't, then each banner will look a little something like this. LR Gogeta's banner will feature the LR himself, SSJ4 Gogeta, Int Gogeta, Strength Gogeta, Strength Janemba, 4 new Goku and Vegeta cards which are cool, they're nice, but nothing to get too excited about. Oh, and there's also an SR Janemba. LR Vegito's banner will feature the LR himself, Physical Super Vegito, AGL Super Vegito, Int Kid Boo, Physical Vegito Blue, Buhan, the same four new Vegeta and Goku cards, and SR Buff Boo. In this comparison, I'd give the slight edge to Gogeta's banner. Let's just say for argument's sake that the two LRs are equal, right? SJ4 Gogeta and Physical Super Vegito are equal, okay. Int Gogeta is way more valuable than Physical Vegito Blue. Janemba and Boo are fairly equal, and everything else is about the same. Of course, the value of each unit and banner will vary depending on you and your needs. Maybe some people have SSJ4 Gogeta rainbowed, then the guy's worthless to you, so maybe then the Vegito banner will be worth more to you. It all depends. But anyways, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. I'm sorry I can't give you a definitive answer on which banner to summon on. There are simply too many factors. It's a decision you'll have to make for yourself. Before I go, I just want to wish everyone the best of luck on their summons. This is a big one. And I sincerely hope that everyone pulls exactly what they want. Also, don't forget that I will be live streaming my summons tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. Pacific Time. If you missed my first stream yesterday, make sure you don't miss this one. That's all from me. Hope you guys found the video useful. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me and you enjoy what you see, then do yourself a favor and hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. As always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.